Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. Ray Donovan, season five, episode three. This episode is called Dog Walker. The Dog Walker. Y'all ready? Let's get to it. on Ray Donovan. We were in Vegas. Ray and Abby celebrated their anniversary and the family interrupted with their selfish and shady situations. And by the way, Natalie, Natalie has Ray caught up in some messed up situations. She shot her husband Rob up. She wasn't clear on the details. Did she kill him? Did she wound him? Hmm. This season, they are giving us little, little teeny weeny bits of information. And we're just like, Come on, come on, speed it up just a little bit. We learn something new about every 15 minutes, right? My predictions. I'd love for Ray to just say no. The fixer doesn't always have to fix. At some point, he needs to be fixed. I want to see more therapy sessions with Dr. Dewey, AKA Dr. Brogan. Brogan? Isn't that Brogan or Broden? Anyway, I want to see more therapy sessions. Susan Sarandon, the living legend. I want to see her come through in more episodes. Come on now. Y'all have somebody with that much command on screen. Come on. Show show her more. Hopefully it's more than a couple episodes. Anyway, Feud. Feud was on FX and it was a great, great, great Tony the Tiger. Uh TV show. If you guys watched it, drop a comment below. I loved her as uh, Miss Davis. She represented SCW Army. We need to see the kids. Bridget, Connor, where are y'all? We we know you're off in school, but we need to see you guys. Come on. We're looking for you. You're part of the show too. I think the title Dog Walker has every bit to do with Natalie. All the drama so far has to do with her besides Abby. And her drama is, you know, related to her illness. R.I.P. has to do with Nat. Trying to figure out all of episode two. Where do I know her from? Did you guys watch Westworld? Well, I did. What a crazy show. She was on Westworld. Did you guys watch Banshee? She, she was on Banshee. What another, I can't even say crazy show. Well, how would you describe Banshee? It's just Banshee. He said it's a show of its own. It's just Banshee. True that. Let's get to it. It's Ray on a walk on this journey for Ballas to figure himself out or it's going to crush him. Mickey is sipping scotch and babysitting a star. How can you really trust anything Natalie says? She's an actress. She can be any character she wants to be. Per Natalie's request, Ray goes to her house which we now know is next door, down the street, not too far from his house. Uh, here we are thinking they taking long journeys to get there, or at least I did. No, it's it's right, a hop and a skip, and we're there. He gets there, the house is a complete mess, it's a train wreck. We go upstairs, and in the, when he was walking through the house, I said, you know what, that guy's not dead. She never said he was dead. Questioned her twice, and she never really gave an answer. She just said, shot. He bends the corner. This fool stabs him with the little bitty scissors that come in the uh, emergency kit. Ray was stabbed in the chest. And I said, oh, oh no, Ray, Donnie. Raymond. Ray is on the verge of taking someone's life, trying to prevent further injury to himself. This crazy nut job is in his shower, comfortable. The key word to all of this is she is so comfortable with him manipulating seducing him almost and i was just so like what is her problem you are overstepping your boundaries when she how did you drop a comment below how did you feel when she was touching abby's clothing what you got a lot of nerve lady now now we're going through abby's stuff sleeping in their bed what are you little red riding hood what is going on right now you were sitting at their table sleeping in the bed showering you're little red riding hood for real she does all of this on purpose. Natalie is bad news, no doubt. Animals are put in the kennel for training or for them to go to sleep. Well, Ray decided to put this dog in a kennel. You wanna act like an animal? Look where it got you. They gave him the booty juice shot. The booty juice shot, ah! That stuff is real. I took like all of us that get right. You know what? I'm happy that Terry's better. Terry finally has what he's always wanted, physical health. You get it? 
but now your mental health is just seems happy he seems better but maureen knows but maureen knows that he was with a prostitute he wasn't faithful you torture yourself he's torturing himself by shutting off his pacemaker torturing himself by looking at abby he's doing all of that and the only thing that can help him heal is to be there for his family his nephew as far as maureen talking about i feel like an outsider and cussing him out he does too He's felt like an outsider his whole life. He's felt like an outsider with his condition. Even though she's ignored it, is it fair? True, right? To be loved, to be loved, to be normal, to be loved so much, man. I felt like this episode was completely about Bunchy. All the all the shots with Bunchy have been great, especially in this episode. He kept this episode alive, let's be honest. When he was at the bus, when he was wishing his chick off to have a good trip, he's trying to say, I love you, have a safe trip. She, she already gone. Wow. He can't win. He can't even say, I love you. He can't even say good luck. So he's offered this deal. He's offered this deal for more money, which is going to bring stability. And that's what he wants, stability. Right before he grabbed his baby and he hit the road drunk, what happened? What triggered it? What was it, y'all? I give you two seconds. His father triggered it by saying, some dreams are not meant to come true. That did it for him. He said, you know what? Forget this, man. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be Mickey. I'm not going to be Ray. I'm not going to be Terry. I'm going to be Daryl. I want to be me and I want to be a better person, be a better parent, be a better parent for this baby. Snatches the baby, leaves the sippy cup. I'm like, poor baby, he needs a sippy cup. And he's standing out in front of the business to be continued. Ray's been gone all night, right? His line of work. You telling me he doesn't have at least a pair of gym shorts, a tank top, hoodie, anything in his trunk besides the bodies and the bats that he keeps back there? Man, you got blood all over you. You've been wearing this suit all day. Blood everywhere. No change of clothes. Come on, Ray. Ray, Ray meeting felt bad for Mickey. He did all that work. He had a great positive hobby and his script didn't even get picked up. That's messed up. Man, they really moved the, they moved the pace a little bit with Connor losing his marbles at that match. It was pretty deep though. Terry said one of the most profound quotes of season five thus far. So this is not a fight, this is a sport. You got rules. As far as Dr. Brogan, Dr. Brogan was digging for more information. He sees through Ray's BS. He doesn't believe Ray on paper. He doesn't believe paper Ray. He wants more. His whole character is so bananas because he's so scruffy and he's weathered and he knows this whole misunderstanding is crap. When Natalie called, what did you guys think? She says, I need one more thing. It will always be one more thing fatal attraction waiting to happen drop a comment below because i have to know what did you guys think about the baby what did you guys think about the baby receiving a little bit of justerini and brooks on the pacifier when he dipped it into that liquor Ooh, i couldn't i couldn't deal i couldn't believe he dipped that baby's pacifier in an alcoholic beverage <gasps> shenanigans when we were back at the donovan residence ray sitting in his chair just looking at his family and we see Abby and we just we just knew you know we just knew about when Abby stood from her chair and she walked towards Ray when Ray grabbed his bottle and he said let me just walk the dog let me just walk the dog that that's when we knew things were more than what it appeared to be that that's when we learned Natalie was the neighbor and they were both outside walking the dog this is messed up because Ray was walking the dog with the liquor bottle so you can tell at that point he wasn't really in a good headspace when you're not in a good headspace like that you have nothing to lose you do reckless things and we know what he ended up doing with her that was a night Ray and Natalie officially met in their neighborhood. She started asking questions. What do you, what do you do? What do you do? He knows she's a star. He knows it's, mm. she set him up and he allowed her to play him. What do you guys think was the reason why she kept the jersey? And what did we also find out? She was the reason why Ray and Abby got in the car accident. Wow. I can't wait for that particular moment to actually be shown on camera because i'm sure there was a effed up crazy reason why the heck she was running around looking at them in her underwear i can't this chick is off the chain this natalie character is off the chain at the end of every episode i rate it on a scale of one to ten and it goes a little something like this
this episode, I will give it an 8.0. 8. 8.080. 8. 8. 8 flat. Because only because of the pace. The pace is like a roller coaster. It's like the shaky beginning of the roller coaster ride. We're at that point where we're just waiting in the sky. And then we get to that corner jerk every now and then. They jerk it. But we still haven't hit this point. And we're all waiting for this point. That's the only reason I give it an 8.0. Another point that I thought was kind of... He was rocking the Bob Barker spade and neuter t-shirt. And I thought that was a hilarious touch to put on the show. We could learn a lot more for Terry. I think Bunchy needs more time. Speed up the main character Ray's story. And what's Mickey going to do? Because now he needs that money. He doesn't have the script. He's getting in bed with some other folk. A lot can go down. Until next time. Peace.